For the purposes of this course, we'll be working with console-based applications. These are small programs that communicate with the user by sending plain text to a console. C and C++ use a standard library that includes support for three standard streams of text. In this movie, we'll be discussing the standard out and standard error streams. Standard in will be discussed in the next movie. Let's start by making a working copy of working.c. So I'm going to copy that and paste it down into our working project and double click on it to open it up. So you can see this is very simple. It's just like the hello world. And when I compile it and run it, and you notice I ran clean at the end of the last time I used this. And so I'm just going to click on the run working button there. And when I compile and run it, it displays hello world on the console. This window down here is the console. You see, I have the tab selected that says console. And so that's where the messages are displayed that are sent to the console from the standard output stream in the C library. So the function printf is a very common way to send things to the console. Printf is actually very powerful. It has a lot of different capabilities. But this is its simplest form, and this is what it's very commonly used for. There's another function called fprintf, with an f like Frank at the beginning of it, that is also commonly used. And instead of just sending things to the output stream, it'll send things to whatever stream you tell it. So I can specify the standard output stream by typing in stdout and a comma, and that gives it the standard output stream as the first argument to the function fprintf. So if I save this, I'll press Command S on this Mac, Control S on a PC, and compile and run, you see the effect is exactly the same. Now I'm going to make a copy of this line and paste it on the next line. And I'm going to change standard out to standard error, ERR, and save that and run it. Now you'll notice we have two lines. The first line is in red, and that's because it's the standard error stream. And the second line is in black, which is the standard output stream. And so this is an Eclipse thing. Things that are sent to the standard error stream come out in red on the console in Eclipse. In other environments, they work in different ways. And things that go to the standard out stream are displayed in black on the Eclipse console. You'll notice that they are not in order. They may be in order on yours. They may be out of order. This is a little bit whimsical which one it ends up. The reason for this is, is that the standard output is typically buffered in a Unix environment or in an environment that emulates Unix, which is most C compiler standard libraries. And the standard error stream is typically not buffered. So the buffer isn't getting flushed until the end of the program, or in this case, the end of main. So the standard error is getting displayed before the standard output, even though they're not in that order in the program. This is typical behavior. It's not surprising if they're in any order whatsoever. Now let's take a look at how this works in C++. I'm going to go ahead and delete working.c, and I'm going to run clean. And I'm going to take a copy of working.cpp and select working and paste. Double click to bring it up. And we will go ahead and press the green run button. So this is pretty much the same effect, but it's using some C++ paradigms. You'll notice that I have IO stream in the include there. And I'm using C out to display text. So C out sends things to the standard output stream. If I copy and paste this, and change C out to C error, ERR. Save and run. You see, I get that same result again. I've got the red, which means the standard error, and the black, which is the standard output. And again, they're out of order on mine, and they may or may not be out of order on yours. Another interesting paradigm in C++ is instead of these new line characters, backslash N is a meta sequence for a new line. Instead of that, I can stream ENDL. And I can actually do that on both the C out and the C air. When I save and run, you'll see that those new lines are still getting inserted. They're still on separate lines. So this is another common paradigm that you'll see in C++. You'll see this endl instead of the new line in the string. Another advantage of endl is that it actually flushes the output stream buffer.
it does both things. It sends a new line and it flushes the buffer. And so you'll see that often. Also, you'll notice that if I comment out this line using namespace standard, and I'm just going to comment that out, all of a sudden, these tokens for cout and cair and endl aren't recognized anymore. And if I try and compile this, you'll see I get lots and lots of errors. If I hover over this, you'll see it says endl was not declared in the scope, cl was, it's just not understanding these symbols. And that's because the namespace is not getting imported. You'll see it this way a lot. Instead of using namespace standard like that, having the namespace specified in front of each of these tokens is very common. So I'm just gonna show you, we'll get into namespaces later on in the course and you'll understand them a lot better later, but you'll wanna know what this looks like because you're going to see it sometimes. So I'm gonna type STD for the namespace and two colons, and that specifies the namespace. And then I'm gonna just copy and paste that in front of the end L as well you notice that that bug symbol went away. And I'm gonna do that on the next line. And the bug symbol went away. And when I press Command S here on this Mac or Control S on a PC and save, and then I go up and compile and run, see those X's go away and try running that again. And they come up on the separate lines. So what was happening there, you see now the red is on the bottom is that the hello world to the standard out was going out before the new line went out for the standard error. So things like this happen sometimes when you're mixing your streams and it's not unusual and it's not unexpected. So you'll see some strange behavior when you're using both of these streams. So now let's go ahead and delete and clean. I'm gonna delete working.cpp and I'm going to come up here to project and clean, clean up our Eclipse environment. So that should give you a good introduction to the standard output streams in C and C++. We'll take a quick look at the standard input stream in the next movie.